Hey developers, Jack Wallen here to help you get things done. If you have a Gatia server up and running, you might be wondering how to connect to it from the CLI. Let me show you how. The first thing to do is create a repository on Gatia. To do this, log into your Gatia account. Click the repository tab in the upper right corner and click the plus button. In the resulting window, fill out everything necessary for your new repository and make sure to click the checkbox for initialize repository. When you've finished filling in the details, click Create Repository. You now need to configure Git with your email address and your name. To do this, open a terminal window and issue the commands git config dash dash global user dot email email. Git config dash dash global user dot email name. Where email is your email address and name is your full name. Let's say the repository address is http colon slash slash. 192.168.1.22 slash jack slash techrepublic.git. The first thing to do is to clone the repository with the command git clone http colon slash slash 192.168.1.22 slash jack slash techrepublic.git. Once the repository is cloned, change into the newly created directory with the command cd techrepublic. Now let's create a new file with the command echo hello world greater than test dot text. We'll now add that file to the repository with the command git add test dot text. Next, we'll make our first commit to the repository with the command git commit dash m double quote my first commit double quote. Finally, we'll push the commit to the Gitia repository with the command git push. If you head back to your repository on Gitia, you should see the test.txt file listed. Click on that file name and you'll see Hello World. If you want to see more how-to videos, subscribe to our How to Make Tech Work YouTube channel. Also, check out Tech Republic for the latest news in tech.